The Zaman Park operation for the arrest of the former Prime Minister Imran Khan has been making headlines not only on the local media but also on the international media. When you look at this, of course there have been non-bailable arrest warrants against the former Prime Minister Imran Khan and the Chief of Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf. There has been a lot of discussion around whether the police should have launched the operation or not, whether this was the right way of actually passing on the non-bailable arrest warrant or not. The legal fraternity also seems divided, the media seems divided, the political parties have different, uh, you know, um, dimensions to it. What we need to understand is that the non-bailable arrest warrants are not to put Imran Khan behind the bars, but only to produce him before the court that he is not attending. However, having said that, uh, there are two aspects to this. I believe that both the sides, that is the government and you know, Tariq Insaf and former Prime Minister, these are bad optics. One on one side from the government's end is that so many police officials are being there, an entire operation is being launched and yet you're unable to establish the writ of the government, which means that either there is, has been an ill planning or, um, you know, it, it, it leaves you in a position that Imran Khan and his party is more stronger than the law of the land. From Imran Khan's side, the optics are bad because a person who has been saying that I stand for the rule of law, he's been telling the international media that I have a protective bail. He does have protective bail, but not in this case. So he should have gotten one. Maybe his legal team must have advised to get it a little later. We, we don't know. But, uh, you know, now getting protesters around the Zaman Park and and, you know, making those, uh, uh, you know, public appeals through his Twitter handle and through the PTI official Twitter handle and by his representatives that, you know, everybody gather around Zaman Park. Imran Khan is not realizing that what the visuals are now testifying is that even his people or his supporters have been attacking the police, the men in uniform, putting the public property on fire which of course mounts to, um, you know, violation of the law. So that is also bad optics because um, it also makes me at least feel that any time any non-bailable arrest warrant have been issued for any person or political party or leadership, is everyone going to be behaving like that? But Imran Khan has, uh, you know, and another view of it he he feels and believes that if he's taken into custody he is going to be probably uh, you know attacked once again because he believes that the current current government is involved in the first assassination event that he had faced in wazirabad in a public rally so i think now both sides have to understand one thing that whatever is happening is not in the interest of pakistan there's a lot of political stability we already are facing economic challenges so all of this should have been handled well there has to be some stop to all of this chaos. I don't know that the Lahore High Court now seems to be the acting as an arbitrary arbitrator, whether this is going to function or not. But at the end of the day, wherever the law has been violated, has to be taken into account. If it is the police violating any sort of law, they have to be taken into account. If it is the protesters, they have to be reprimanded for it. And for Imran Khan, I think he has to realize that now there is no running away from the session court unless and until, you know, the appeals that have been that that he has made to the higher courts, uh, you know, he gets a, a decision in favor of him, of his appeals, that he would not want to be, uh, you know, appear, would not want to appear before the court because he fears for his life. I don't know what is going to happen, but all political matters, as it is, are being settled by the courts. And all court matters seems to be settling on the streets. So this is like a very different aspect, I'd say, to the politics that we have seen in this country.